Hey everybody, Seth Daly here, and I want to take a quick minute to talk to you about a scenario that I had come up a couple times in this past week. So I was speaking with one of our sellers and they said, well, Seth, I've, I've got a question. I think I might already have a buyer. Now here's what they meant. One of them was renting out their property and they were getting ready to sell it. And their tenant came up to him and said, hey, we think we want to buy it. And, and I'll tell you this, over the last 15 years, we have seen this scenario work out in several different ways. So my first comment is always this. Listen, if you are really good friends and you want to give your tenant a great deal and you want to do them a favor, then by all means, I want to help you do that. And we dra dramatically reduce our costs to do that. We help uh, sort of make it a win-win for everybody involved, or you can do it outside of us, whatever, whatever makes you feel better. But the reality is, if you want to do a favor for your tenant, go ahead, that could be a great fit. I said, but, but here's my concern. If you're doing this as a favor, go for it. If your goal is to maximize the amount of money that you are able to get out of this asset, then I, I really want you to think twice about it because sometimes when somebody makes us an offer, it's sort of like an unadvertised sale, right? They came in and they knew about it. And the reality is, put yourself in the shoes of a buyer. If, if you were trying to buy real estate right now, wouldn't you love it if the person down the street said, hey, just so you know, I'm planning to sell my house. I don't really know what it's worth. Uh, why don't you just make me an offer and I won't even check it against anybody else. I won't get any more bids. Those are the kinds of transactions where a seller loses out. And in this case, my goal for any of our sellers is I want to get you the most amount of money with the least amount of hassle to you and your family in the shortest amount of time. But sometimes we can make the mistake of thinking that if we sell it to somebody that we already know, that we're going to save time and somehow we're going to save hassle. And we think that that's not going to have an impact on dollars. The reality is the best thing that I've seen a seller do right now is get their home fully advertised, fully marketed, fully prepared for the market and put it on the open market. And that's where we've seen just the maximum amount of buyers interested. And anytime we can get multiple buyers interested, that's when we have the best chance of a bidding war, raising the sales price, getting top dollar in the market. So if you have any questions about this or you're just wondering, just know that we're here as a resource, right? If it's really the best move for you and your family to, to sell it to somebody off market, hey, we'll help you do it. We'll give you advice along the way. But the reality is we want to protect your equity. And the number one piece of advice I could give you in protecting your equity is give us the opportunity to market the property correctly, get it out to the market. We'll do it in as easy a way as possible with the least amount of inconvenience. And that is the necessary step to getting you top dollar for your home. Take care.